Yo, what is good guys, back here with another YouTuber video, and in case you cannot tell by the title below, this video will be a video where I share my thoughts and opinions on someone or something going on in this wacky weird world called professional wrestling. As you can tell by the title below, this video will be a video where I share my thoughts on a uh, former multiple time champion within WWE, Drew McIntyre. Before I share my thoughts and opinions on Drew, would love to know what your thoughts are on him down in the comments below. While you are down there, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, turn on post notification, all of that fun, fun stuff. And when it comes to Drew McIntyre, this video will be biased for two reasons kind of deal. I like uh, Drew McIntyre. I find him really good in the ring, good enough on the mic. He's definitely stronger bell to bell than on the mic, but he still can hold his own on the mic and whatnot. And I find him entertaining uh, for both. But I've been a fan, supporter, Mark, whatever terminology you would want to use towards Drew McIntyre since Tuesday, September 15th. 2009 and I know that for vast majority of people that's just a random either random Tuesday or uh, they weren't born yet kind of deal because that is mind-blowing for myself but either way uh, I attended the Smackdown TV uh, tapings in Hamilton Ontario Canada and Drew McIntyre granted I don't think he wrestled uh, that night, but he came out uh, kind of deal, and I sat floor, 18th row, opposite of where the wrestlers uh, come out and whatnot, and once I seen him in person, I'm like, that's my guy. That's maybe not my guy, but one of my guys, and I've been a fan supporter of Mark again ever since. Fast forward to... I can't remember, I think it was 9-9-17, uh, uh, so it's September 9th, 2017, oh, or like that weekend, weekend after Labor Day, uh, 2017, WWE NXT had like, I think three shows in, or four shows in uh, Southern Ontario. I went to the one in Toronto because it's closest to where I live, and uh, it was at the old Maple Leaf Gardens got front row uh, to boot. And the biggest reason why I went and got front row and did all of that stuff was because Drew McIntyre uh, was a champion, bought the ticket, got front row like half hour, 45 minutes after he won the title. Uh, SummerSlam weekend uh, kind of deal and whatnot. But either way, for myself personally, not only seeing him wrestle in person those couple of times, plus several times more, but after the NXT house show in Toronto in September of 17, uh, he signed a piece of paper uh, that I had and whatnot. And he was super chill to do that uh, kind of deal. Sadly, I don't have a photo with him uh, kind of deal and whatnot. But either way, for myself personally, I have always found him, whether it was like 09 or nowadays, uh, super entertaining in the ring. Again, I might be, might have been biased, kind of deal and whatnot. I might have shed a tear or two when he uh, beat Brock Lesnar uh, to become WWE champion. Well, granted, I would have uh, shed more than a couple of tears if there was 60, 70, 80,000 people uh, there with him, but because the world caught fire, uh, couldn't really do that. Uh, and whatnot, but either way, I personally, if I had to do a top five favorite act of wrestlers within WWE, Raw, SmackDown, NXT, whatever the case, uh, he would definitely be in that top five for like full time active wrestlers, uh, and whatnot. But either way, for myself personally, he's one of my guys, uh, and whatnot. Would love to know what your thoughts are on him. Uh, down in the comments below while you are down there feel free to hit the like subscribe turn on post notification Of course you don't have to if you don't want to but it would mean a lot to myself if you did more importantly Hope you guys are doing okay mentally emotionally and physically the world that we tend to make up is nothing but a fantasy until you wake up I feel like I'm just lying to myself Lying to myself Yeah Cause I just crossed the line like I'm playing offside I do it how I want and I'ma do it till I die